Welcome back. I'm Eric. And I'm Kevin. This is Exploring Whiskey, where we sample whiskeys from around the world. Today, we're going to be sampling another scotch. This is the Singleton of Glendulin, a 12-year scotch. Uh, Singleton is actually a collection of three different distilleries. There's a Singleton, is they got the Glendulin, mm -hmm. which is mostly the American. They have Dufftown, which is mostly Europe. distributed in Europe. Mm -hmm. And then there's a Glen Ord, which is mainly going to the Asian Age markets. Market. They've been together for, uh, I think it was 2006, they kind of, Singleton kind of took them all under their, their wing to, to start these, these different lines. The Glendulin is a Speyside Scotch, uh, Speyside region. The, so is Dufftown and the Glen Ord is uh, Highlands. Highlands. So as it says, we got a 12 year, mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, I'm sure the even with 12 years, <laughs> it'll probably be a light color. So, yeah, it's light a color. Way. Proof is down in the 80. I think it's 80. 80. Yeah. The most, like the most, most of the scotches. Yep, yeah. they do like to sit in those lower 80s. I don't get a whole lot of no, it's, smoke on the nose or anything. No. A little bit of malt. It is a single malt, but it, so it, it's going to pull off some of that. There's a little bit of that malt funk. A lot of sweet and fruit notes is yeah. really the main pieces that I'm getting there. I get an apple. Yeah, I can see that. There's a green apple yep. type. Yeah. The tartness. Maybe a little bit of a candy note too of some sort. Very light. It's really nice. Ooh, very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah, that is that is 80 proof all the way. <laughs> yeah. There is no burn to that. There is no... That kind of a, a syrupy. Yeah, it's a creamy? Yeah, creamy. Maybe, creamy. I always hate when people get into this, but creamy mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of, it's it sits there. Sorry, what's the oil look like here? Yeah, there's a decent amount of oil on there. It's not overly oily by any means, but... I'm going back to the nose even after tasting it, it's still... All green apple. Yep. Yeah. It's all apple <laughs> for me. Yep. There's just a slight underline of a, a malt. It's not overly funky. I can't pick up much of a smoke note on the taste. There's nothing on the nose. A little bit of raisin. I got some sm a little bit of smoke on the very back end on the second sample. There's a, yes, there's a oak tannin or a, maybe a smoke of some sort that does kind of, it sits in the back, but there's so many sweet yeah. notes in the very beginning of this. Yeah, that's really apple is all I'm pulling off the nose. This no. is a, this is one you can drink all night. Oh yeah, this so, is so smooth. Super smooth, it doesn't have any kind of a brutal kick that you're gonna be like, okay, enough of that. <laughs> it's light, it's fruity. So. It's, you got that syrupy, sweet, sweetness yeah, to it. It is a very sweet, and I just, yeah, very sweet kind of notes to it. And it's uh, it's, it be, it's a good uh, appetite, like a uh, desserty type. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's not a main course, it's not gonna sit with a meal. No. Uh, it's not strong enough for a meal, but a, you know, an appetizer or a dessert drink I think this would be a nice cap to an evening. And I still have not found it. I mean, I know some people drink scotch on the rocks. I haven't found one yet that, that it, would, it would water this one down way too much. Yeah, at 80, uh, some of the Irish ones, at least getting into the 90s, maybe. But I, I am interested. Again, we've done a lot of the baseline of a lot of these scotches. Just like all those other scotches, there is big brothers to this. There is a 15 year, there's an 18 year, and occasionally they'll go as crazy as 40, 40 year. So they did one back in 2018. I have no idea how much that costs or what that tastes like, but that's probably a little bit more complex. Maybe a drop of water would help there, but if that's, I don't know what another well 12 uh, another 28 <laughs> years maybe that does make it a little more complex and a, a drop of water might be a nice addition what did you say this one was 60 dollars it's a 60 a six dollar msrp pretty easy to find it's not it's not a, a harder uh scotch to find in in most stores 
obviously regional issues, but I'd be really interested to see what the other ones the big taste brothers. like. Well, no, not even the Big Brothers, but what's the European one taste oh, like? Yeah, yeah. What's the Asian, Asian one, one taste like? I, I wonder what, if if there's big differences even just in a 12-year. There's so many fun little explorations we can do with scotches. I would, I would be curious to see if the Asian one falls with more of the, the smoky... Yeah, it's not going to be an Isla, yeah. but some Highlands some characteristics. Do tend to have a little bit of a smoke note sitting yeah. underneath them. But for the most part, it is uh, X bourbon barrels mm-hmm. yeah. and then some uh, sherry. European sherry, sherry oak. So it's kind of that, that kind of a blend. And yeah, it's just, it's just nice just, and light. That, yeah, that sherry you pick up the... Yeah, I, I assume that's bringing in a lot of those fruit things, mm-hmm. but sometimes I wonder if if there's something with that single malt that tends to come across as a little more fruity too. Yeah, I enjoyed this one though. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one to uh, see if we can find some of the other regional ones, find a, a 15 or an 18. I'm not sure I'd... Well, I guess... You, I, you want to pony up for the 40? I don't know if I'll pony up for the 40, <laughs> but if the 18 is spectacular... Maybe. Splurge. Maybe it's a, a you know birthday present to myself or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass it along to the missus. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely oh. delicious. Uh, another really quality entry level yep. scotch that's not going to be that Isla heavy smoke, Ardbeg, Lafroy thing that everybody's scared of when they hear scotch. So uh, I, I think. Definitely something I'd recommend to people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've enjoyed this one. Hope all of you at home did. If you did, if you enjoyed this one, we like we'd ask that you hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. That will help our videos get a little bit more notice in uh, the YouTube algorithms. And if you could subscribe, that always helps too. And the bell icon will let you know every time we post a new show. Comments. Let us know. Have yeah. you, leave, us, leave us a leave us a, a scotch you'd like for us to yeah, sample. Yeah, absolutely. Love, we'd love to go on the hunt. We'd love to do it on the channel. Yep. Yeah. So, till the next episode. Thanks very Thanks. much for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.